No one likes a dirty Mac. Hello and welcome back to Markerless Reviews and thank you for subscribing if you have. And if you haven't subscribed, yes, the button's down there. You know that feeling when you get a brand new Apple Mac? It's wonderful, it's fresh, it's fast, there's no rubbish on it. And then over time, you install stuff, you upload all your photos, you try apps out, forget you've installed them, your photo library becomes chock full of duplicates, it seems to boot up slower, your dock is this sea of apps that you'd never use anymore. It's horrible, isn't it? Well, the good news is you can keep your Mac clean quite easily. And this comes down to two things. One of them is being proactive with the stuff that you can do manually to keep it clean. And the other one is to use a tool to keep it clean. Now on this channel, I've covered cleaning apps in the past, but in the interest of balance, I want to show you a different one today, which is from a company called Trend Micro, who are very kindly sponsoring this video. It's called Cleaner One Pro. And I think combined with some fairly simple manual things you can do to keep your Mac clean, it can make a huge difference to the way that your Mac runs. So Trend Micro are the people behind Cleaner One Pro. I'm a big fan of Trend Micro. I use lots of their other apps. And I've been using Cleaner One Pro over the last few weeks, and it's really good. I love the way it visualizes and helps you manage your storage. It helps you remove those unnecessary files that you don't even know are there in seconds. And that's one of the biggest things. It's helped me work out where I'm using up disk space for absolutely no reason at all. It's also got a great toolbar feature for monitoring CPU usage, network usage, memory management, all that kind of stuff. And those duplicate images that I mentioned earlier, it's great to finally have something that can help me get rid of them quite easily. So what I thought I'd do today is bring in my old, it's not old, it's 2017, which is quite old, isn't it? 27 inch iMac, which, oh God, which is just over here out of shot. So I've not run Cleaner One Pro on this Mac at all. Like I say, it's the 2017 version. It's been around quite a long time. It's been through quite a lot as well. So I thought what better test for Cleaner One Pro than to try it on my old trusty 27 inch iMac. So let's go for it. This is completely off the cuff, bear with me. So I've literally just installed Cleaner One Pro on this Mac. And if we go to the menu bar at the top, one of the first things we can see is a lovely little indication of how much memory is being used at the moment. I can see I'm using 29% memory at the moment, which equates to 10 gig of memory usage. It also tells me immediately, and bearing in mind, I've not done any form of scan. I've literally just installed Cleaner One Pro. It tells me that I've got 17.2 gig of junk files. Immediately, that's interesting. We'll come back to that in a minute. Um, it tells me the CPU is being used 15% at the moment. This is an Intel Mac, obviously, so and uh, network usage, uh, very little going on. Understandable, it's not doing much at the moment. And it can even connect to Dropbox. I've only just noticed that, didn't know you could do that. That's quite nice. So memory usage, if I'm not happy with that 10 gig, I can click optimize. And what it should do is basically free up some of the memory that is being needlessly used. There we go, 5.3 gigs now being used. That's quite reassuring. But it's those junk files I'm interested in. 17 gig of junk. Okay, so if we go click on there, it will clean it straight away. There we go, junk files gone. Now what I should have done originally actually was click on these little three dots here, which gives you a breakdown of what's being used. And I can see here between apps, photos, audio, movies, and other stuff, I can see exactly what is being used up for space on my Mac. Now you can go further than that. So if I go to System Optimizer, we can do a smart scan. And you can look for junk files, big files, duplicate files, similar photos. Now I'm gonna leave all those ticked because like I say, I've not used this Mac for quite a while, but it has been used very consistently since 2017 without ever being wiped. So there's a lot of junk on here. So if I click Start Scan and away it goes. Now while that's scanning, I thought I'd cover some of the more manual things you can do to keep your Mac clean. Now there are four things that I do. The first thing is whenever I install a new application, if it's not from the App Store and it comes with an installer, I always delete that installation file after it's been installed. Now macOS should ask you automatically if you want to delete that file. I found that that doesn't always happen so I just make it a thing to go in and delete those installation files straight after the install. The other thing is I always keep a clean desktop. You can see on this one actually there's nothing on it apart from the Macintosh HD icon. It scares me when I see people who've got loads and loads of files just scattered across the desktop. That it's a kind of untidy desktop but it's also an untidy mind. It just makes me feel all Litchy. So a clean desktop, although it won't improve the performance of your Mac, just makes you feel better about using it. I also periodically clear out the downloads folder and also the trash folder because they're not there to be holding stuff permanently. And quite often, if you use something like Cleaner One Pro, you'll find that a lot of the junk that you have, a lot of those big files that are taking up completely 
needless space are either in trash or they're in your downloads folder. So I'd say clean them out every week and immediately you will save a huge amount of time and effort in terms of cleaning your Mac later on. The last thing I do relates again to the downloads folder and I, like anyone, I download lots of temporary files, whether they be installation files or images or videos or something that I'm working on briefly but I don't need to keep. Now when I do that, I always put them into downloads, whether or not they're downloaded from the web or if they're from a camera or transferred my iPhone, I always put them into the downloads folder. And the reason that I do that is because I know that I'm going to clear out that downloads folder at some stage. And those temporary files, as I've designated them, don't need to be anywhere else. So the downloads folder, apart from being a downloads folder, is kind of a holding pen for that kind of stuff. So those are simple, easy, no hassle things that you can do yourself without costing you any money to keep your Mac clean. Now, while I've been talking, Cleaner One Pro has completed the scan and it has seven suggestions for me. So it's found, it's found another 1.7 gig of junk files, 23 gig of big files, three gig of duplicate files, one gig of similar photos, that's scary. Now it's also discovered that I don't have any Trend Micro antivirus software installed, and there is a secure. Oh, there's no sorry. There's no security risks for adware. That's very reassuring. My OS is up to date, and I've got 35 items in my startup. That's worrying as well. I need to double check that. And 35 apps that haven't been used recently. So that kind of indicates that this is a machine that I don't use a huge amount. But equally. There's a lot of stuff I can now work on to clean it up. Now, if we just look at a few of these, if I go into junk files here, it's a lot of stuff that won't mean anything to mere mortals like you and I, but it's stuff that the OS keeps for no reason at all, and you can pretty much happily remove it. So there's just logs and things in here, which are taking up 1.7 gig. I'm gonna quite happily get rid of those system logs. Language files, I don't need. It's asked me if I definitely want to. Actually, I'll keep those. Old updates, get rid of that. Unused disk images, okay, there's a few things I can get rid of there. Browser cache, 22 meg in Chrome. Yeah, we'll get shot of that. System cache. Basically, you can go through all this and get rid of it. So I can now save another near as damn it, two gig of space. So I click on remove, it starts cleaning. Simple as that. There we go, 903 meg. Okay, it hasn't deleted everything. I don't know why, I guess that's because, okay, I didn't check everything off, but 900 meg isn't too bad at all, really, is it? Similar photos, one gig of similar photos. So, you know, I've, I've taken two photos of this castle. They're just identical. Why have I done that? Absolutely no idea at all. Same thing with this drone shot. Two of them don't need them. So I can go through these and delete duplicate images, which is great. So you get the idea. I can go through it and delete all those duplicates and free up quite a bit of free space. Duplicate files, pretty handy as well. So I can go in here and see files that I've recorded twice. Again, there's the famous castle. You know, it, it's stuff which I just don't need on here that I can get shot of. Startup manager, this is really interesting. So I've got 35 <laughs> items in here. Everything from Dropbox to day one, VPNs, iStat menus, Slack, Spotify. I don't need all this stuff. Now having all this in one place, although you can obviously get to this in macOS as well, it's just nice to have it in one location. And also have a very easy way of turning off and on these startup items. So day one, I probably don't need that to be starting up to be honest. I start menus, I can probably get shot of that, I'm not using that at the moment. And having loads of startup items can really slow your Mac down and make it very slow to boot up. So trimming this list is actually quite a good idea. Lastly, there is an app manager, which is fantastic. So. One of the big bugbears I had with macOS when I came to Mac from Windows was that in uninstalling stuff on macOS, it feels wrong. Quite often what you're asked to do is just delete the application icon from the applications list or throw it into the trash. That feels like there's no end of stuff being left behind. Whereas on Windows, you have a proper uninstaller, which uninstalls everything. There's loads of different ways of doing this in macOS. You can do it manually, which just takes forever and is just mind-numbingly boring. Or you can use something like Cleaner One Pro, which has a proper app remover. So if I come in here, I can see all the apps I've got installed. And let's say, for instance, I no longer need ExpressVPN. I can click on ExpressVPN, click Remove, and it will show me all of the files that relate to that app. And all this stuff would probably get left behind if I just deleted the application. So I click proceed and away it goes. There we go, completed. Tells you how much space it's cleaned as well, which is quite nice. And I've just got complete peace of mind that that has now gone from this Mac. I hope this video has proved useful for you. I think cleaning your Mac is something that you can do with software like Cleaner One Pro. You don't have to, you can do those manual things yourself. And quite often a proactive approach to it is pretty much all you need. But I do love Cleaner One's approach 
to the entire package of keeping a Mac clean. Everything from junk file management, to application management, duplicate photos, malware, all that stuff is built into one app and it's just fantastic. So to check it out, check out the link in my description. And thank you again to Trend Micro for sponsoring this video. Now, if you've still got some time and you wanna see how else I work with my Macs, keep watching for a link to a video I did a little while ago where I went through the first 10 things that I do to every new Mac that I get. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.